Guys, I um I want to let you into how my brain works. Lately, when we've been picking our parlays, this team is the team I look to first because they're on something right now. The Oklahoma City Thunder. Let's take a look at the final seconds of their game against the Nuggets. Giddy has to get it in. Shea flashes, catches. Gordon on a little flyby, and Shea banks it home to regain the lead for OKC. Ball is inbounded to Murray. Shot clock is off. Toward the defender. Murray pulls it back behind the three-point line. Murray makes his move. Stops, fades for the tie, and it's short. And OKC with the defensive stop to pull out the victory. Don't look now. SGA with the go-ahead bucket. 9.2 seconds left, leading his team over Denver. Of course, no Jokic, no Porter Jr. But OKC has won seven of their last 10. They're only a game under 500, currently tied for 10th in the West. We all thought for sure they're going to tank again. Like, that's sort of what they do, right? But at this point, I ask you, Eddie, could this be a playoff team? Not only could it be, I think it's going to be. They <laughs> they play hard. They play defense. They're coached up. And Shea is an all-star, no doubt about it. He's he's one of the best young guards in the league. Josh Giddy has come along. Their future is bright out there, even if they're not tanking. And this kind of gives them the luxury to do that. They have a number one overall type pick talent coming back onto their team next year with Chet Holmgren. This is a nice team. And, and shout out to Lou Dort for that defense on that last clip on Jamal Murray. This is why you give Lou Dort the money you give him for those type of possessions. We've seen him be a difference maker in the playoffs before. I, I want to see them in a series. They're going to be a tough out for the Grizzlies, the Nuggets, who they just beat, or whomever maybe at the top of the standings. This is a good young team, and I'm ready to see them on that stage again. Chandler, you agree? What are you saying? I do. I, I love this team. And again, the whole tanking thing to get Victor, they have their version of Victor right there on the bench that's Fair. been in their system, that's working out, that's getting stronger, that's getting healthier every single day. And for a guy like Chet to come back to these two guards with Josh Giddy and SGA, who are absolute studs, uh, I love what they're doing. And like Eddie said, I would love to see this team in a playoff series because it is not an easy out. SGA is an absolute stud. Lou Dort, that defense there at the end, that just kind of shows you his value, what he does while he can still make shots. Uh, and just their future is so bright going forward that, yeah, I think tanking is is in the rearview mirror. And this is a team with a promising future who I like the setup of their future probably more than any other team in the NBA right now. And when they're good, that place is rocking and it's the hardest place to play in. So they, they have a lot of great things going for them. And, and those two kids and SGA and Giddy, they're special. And, and to have guards like that, where one can go get a bucket and one is just a playmaker, solid point guard. I, I love it. I love their future. And, and I would love to see them in the playoffs. Five and one in the last six games. And, and like these guys said, they're right there on the brink of the play in the playoffs. And I don't know if anyone in Oklahoma City, anyone around the league expected that. But, you know, when you look at the way Josh Giddy and Shea Gilders Alexander have led this team, the long term question is can these two guys, how are they, how are these two guys going to play off of each other? How are they going to succeed? We saw last night Giddy set up SGA for the score and then just great defense by Lou Dort. The team building to me, you have to give them praise for. Josh Giddy, SGA, Lou Dort at the, at the head of the snake. Chet Holmgren's kind of waiting in the wings. Uh, but then they draft a kid named Jalen Williams. They have Jeremiah, Jeremiah Robinson Earl. Uh, Kenrich Williams, he was on the court right there on those last two possessions. They can trade him today for a first-round pick, but they've held on to him. They signed him to a long-term deal. And just the vision to sign him uh, initially uh, on a deal and then now for the long term, those are the types of guys you want to build with. And, and when this team wins big, Kenrich Williams is going to be a big part of it. Guys, I have to ask, look, look into your crystal balls. SGA is averaging just under 31 a game. Do you see him as the number one option at some point on a contending team, Eddie? Maybe not number one. It's strong. It's hard to be. I mean, he's a little taller than, than these other guards in his class, uh, but it's hard to be that slight and be the number one guy. But I think he's a John Morant type talent and Ja is the number one on a, on a contending <laughs> team. So it is possible. And as, as his jumper has gotten better as his career has gone on, he's become an absolute all-star, like a, a star player in this league. And it's exciting to watch him. And shout out to Shea. When he had the game-winning shot in Miami, he did the sidestep three. And I hate 
the sidestep three with the game on the line. Getting back to the midi, <laughs> it's another game winner. There you go. Like, long live the midi. Bring the midi back into this league, please. Um, but, yeah, I, when you compare him to Ja, when you compare him to Trey, who's played in the conference finals, yeah, I think so. Yeah, when you're 24 years old, you're averaging 31, 5, and 5, <laughs> and you are the only kind of scoring option on this team, and the whole defense is set to kind of maintain you and hold you, and you still can't do it. Yeah, I think this kid is an absolute star. I think his future is bright. I think you add some other talent around that team, some vet leadership for this young core. I think this team could be very, very special in the next two, three, four years. And I think he is a number one option on this team going forward, and they are going to make some noise. It looks like it was all worth it, you guys. It was all worth it in the long run. Knew what they were doing. Up next, Shams will have the latest on Giannis. And the Wizards are shopping around a former lottery pick. All of that when Run It Back returns. Run it up, the running back, yeah. Run it up, the running back, yeah.